Watertown, Maryland, where Bob and I got married, June 6, 2001. That's a little bit of a history on Leonard Town. And we got married right in front of this cannon. I didn't think a shotgun was going to be big enough. So I decided to use a cannon. Says this cannon was brought to Maryland in 1634 on the Ark used in defense of St. Mary City and as a St. Indigo's Manor boundary marker. This used to be, let me back up. This used to be the old jail. And kind of about, let's see, where I'm standing. About right here? Yep. About right here is where we got married. It was me and Bob and Winnie and the dog. And she had me up against this cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a shotgun wedding. See the sign? Old jail. So we got married in front of the old jail. This is the courthouse. Beautiful out here. The court clerk was Mary Bell, and she's the one that married us. Creeper. So, come June 6th, we'll be married 11 years, but how many years have we been together? 20. 20. We've been together for 20 years. Yep. And it has been wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had our ups and downs, every couple does, but we've stayed together for 20 years, and that's right. the key. Amen. And God's love. Amen. Amen. So, there you got it, kids. This is where we were married. Leonardtown, Maryland. June 6th, 2001. So here's the old ship and wharf rebuilt in uh, Leonardtown. They did a nice job. Got a nice building up. Nice landscaping. We've got a little place out here on the water to sit. During the... Right over there. Can you see the thing through the uh, trees? Yeah. That's my old farm. Oh, yeah? Right on that point of land is my old farm. Let's see if I can get... There it is. That's when William was... Uh, and what'd you do on that farm? On that farm, we raised uh, chickens, goats, and uh, had some horses. Yeah. Chickens and goats. During that's where the, we were, uh, right there. Mob Jack on, uh, yeah, the bay. So we're walking on the wharf, looking at the water. It's not a big walk, but it is a walk. <laughs> I'm already puffing like crazy. It's chilly out here today. There used to be a retaining wall down here. Yeah. Down in this area, it went like this. Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I used that. To down here with William when he was a kid. It's beautiful tides, down here. Tides low at the moment. Because we are subject to tides. We're close enough to the mouth of the bay. Tommy's got his forest in Australia, and I've got my water in Maryland. <laughs> we uh -huh. both have our favorite places to walk. There's a little sign. See, Brenton Bay. Yeah, over there. 
Right there on the point. That's the point. This front bay comes in here. That's goes to there. Yeah, we haven't been back down here for quite a while. I was a little shocked at all the work that they've done since the last time we were here. Hey, you can see where the thing ran. Yeah. That's where the old was, just a rock wall, rock and brick wall. Well, one rock and brick, it was wood. But, but then that had been another one. Oh, look, there's a heron. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Where's the heron? Oh, over there. Yeah. Right there. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? I have to freeze on it. Yeah, I had to steady the camera on the railing because when you zoom in, it seems like his thing just shakes real bad. Isn't he beautiful? Look at him. They make the neatest call, too. It's not a pretty songbird call. It's kind of like a frog croak, but it's neat. When they're flying, you hear it up in the sky, that er, er, er. Alright, back to walking. I love days like this when the sun's not shining, it's not so hot out. Bob talking to the birds. I think it's a cat bird sitting there on the, on the rail and hit he just flew away. He didn't like to be photographed, Bob. That's one thing you got in Maryland, lots of crabs. And not just the kind that live in the waters, but kind that drive too. Nice little babbling brook. This one say. Oh yeah. It's part of the Let's see, this is the old docks and the piling. This is part of the old fishing thing. They used to bring the fishing boats in here, and uh, you know this is the ice area. You know that that, that whole area. You could get bait, and dry ice, and regular ice, and uh, tackle, fishing tackle, and all that other stuff. Oh, look at them. They truck the sand in. Yep. Yeah, this wasn't here. This this is the way it was. That marshy area here, that's the way that was. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, wharf was up over there. The the, the businesses in the wharf? No, I remember that. Here. Wasn't there a, a restaurant and a hotel that sat kind of right over there? Yeah, up at in one that time? area. It's gone now. Yeah, this must be a spring because here's the, here's the water coming out of the side of the hill, so I imagine that's a spring, don't you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's two or three springs here. That's one reason why Leonard Town was here, is the spring. So that's flowing out down from the hillside and into the... It's flowing right out of the hillside, and if you look over the other side there, where those people were sitting, mm -hmm. there's a little spring comes out under there, too. Hey, you tell it's been here a long time, look at the rocks. I don't know if you can see the ripple in the rocks where the water flowed or not. Kind of hard to tell on this little bitty screen. Now we're on the sidewalk. Get a nice shot of Bob's back. I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> well, then give some room there, bud. Pretty fresh. Let me talk to them for a while. Yeah. Then let me get too close to them. I wonder 
wonder what those berries are. They got nubbies on them. That's not high bush cranberry, is it? You know? We'll watch him taste it, see if he dies. Might be. <laughs> ah! Got That's my shirt. Got my shirt, yeah. It's all day berry. Those white birches, white paper birches back there. Okay, and now we're back where we started. It wasn't much of a walk, but it is a walk, and the flower is pretty. All right, guys. Beach See you later. God bless.